I met her outside a screening room and uh, I was looking for a cigarette and she was just standing there against a wall staring at me and she had these really big eyes and like skin like a doll and she just started talking to me and telling me about Andy Warhol and all her time and her wigs and her makeup and her clothes. And it was really weird because I thought I could have fallen in love with her. It was a really strange feeling. It was like an admiration, but kind of like, I don't know, maybe like a love for beauty or something. She was just standing there like a, like a doll. <laughs> oh my God, you're too much. You like when I'm looking at you, don't you? It's okay. I took drugs for most of my life. I love the freedom they gave me. I love what they gave me. I had a chance to express myself in ways I couldn't possibly do otherwise. I was really a very shy, frightened person who was courageous and outgoing when I was high. I would do things I can't even imagine doing and don't even remember doing, okay? This is the way I can picture the whole fucking story. It's you, you ended up totally passed out, you know? Well, do I look passed out to you? I want to know from here, right in here, why do you have this kind of contempt when you are talking about it? I mean, this is what you are doing. No, you are contented no, about it. You're a tyrant. I mean, you know, there's not a shred of kindness in your voice. I'm telling you something that's so incredibly difficult, and you have not a shred of kindness in your voice. You know, there is no point to be uh, upset about it. There's no point to cry about it, because everybody wants to have a light on the fact of, the fact of big. Yes. Okay, all I want from you is you tell me the truth. That's what I want. I've told you the truth. And I just can tell you one more thing, is that drugs fucking hurt, you know? They hurt. Okay, fine, you should be very happy now, but now you are totally beautiful, all right? You are clean, all right? You are clean, clean. That's what I'm saying. So don't get upset. Uh, I think everyone is slightly damaged. Every human being, everything is slightly, nothing is perfect. Don't forget people were experimenting then with drugs and things like that. It was just sort of, uh, mixing things, people were, you know, floating around us, creating music, you know, like the Velvet Underground and Nico. And it finally all came to pass. New York, the Taft Hotel. What a night, unforgettable. Suzanne, what are you doing in the bathroom? What? <laughs> Come on, don't close the door. You're too much. You are too much. Why are you making this movie about me? Because I like you, I think that you are funny. And you are truthful. Are you sure this movie is about me? Are you sure Come it's on. not about you? Well... Why don't you take off your glasses? Well, I don't know, because my eyes are hurting for the time being first. And, uh, but this movie is really about you, not me. I mean... May I help you take off your glasses? Mm -hmm. I do that. Voila. Do you like to pry into people's lives? Mm -mm. I wonder uh, what it is about you that makes you like to dig into people's lives. Because I just like to, you know, uh, pick up a bit of the truth. You know? Pick up a bit of the truth? Is yeah. that what you think you get? Yeah. You think by being provocative you pick up truth? 
I don't know. I mean, does that movie is in, uh, embarrassing you? Does that movie is embarrassing your life? I mean, how do you feel? How do you feel when you make people cry on camera? Does it make you feel good? Well, I never asked them at the first place. Do you place. like it? It's not that I like it or I don't like it. I think but it's you important. enjoy. You actually enjoy you getting a big reaction, don't you? No. You just like a truthful reaction. Is that what you're after? No. We need some real, some real emotion. Therefore. I mean, whatever you talk about love, sex, drugs, and uh, you've been true uh, to the maximum about all these kind of things, you know? And on top of it, you know what? Do me this favor. You like to blah, 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 too. I think you like to Well, talk. this movie is about you, just you, you know? Guess what Richard told me last week? Eh? What? That International Velvet was a drag queen living in Park Avenue. No. <laughs> yes, I swear. No. Yeah. C'est pas vrai, Michel. Yes, it's true. And at the same time, you know, I'd like to know why you chose a name like uh, International Velvet, the oh, epitome of drags. Uh, Barbara Streisand sings this song called I'm the Greatest Star. And at the end of it, she says, no autographs, please. No autographs, please. What do you think? Pretty girls are going to stay in style forever. I should say not. Soon they're going to be out. Out. It'll be my turn. And I hope it will be. No, no, I just wanted to be free. I just wanted to find out all the secrets my family was keeping from me, and I didn't want them to find out what I was doing. I just wanted to be free, that's all. I remember when I first saw Susan Bottomley in Chelsea Girls, I went, oh, Elizabeth Taylor. She was like, the, to me, she was the Elizabeth Taylor of the underground. She was exquisite. No. Matter of fact, I went home, and I dyed my hair black. Ugh. Never, and um, and I used to wear my eye my eye makeup. I kind of still do, like she did. Uh, she did, and um, I just just remember how beautiful this girl was, and I well, that I wanted to be I wanted to be part of uh, the Warhol and the Underground, and she was because uh, I, I used to emulate her. I wanted to be like her.